Sally Armstrong grew up and was educated in Montreal before being drawn into the world of journalism by accident. It is here that she has left an enduring stamp on the profession. Whether working at Chatelaine, Canadian Living, or Homemakers Magazine, she was never satisfied with the status quo. Taking the helm, Sally transformed these magazines and was soon highlighting the strife of women and children around the world. As a human rights activist and documentary filmmaker, she tackled issues such as honor killings, child prostitution in Bangladesh, discrimination, and abuse in women's prisons. In 1992, she was the first writer to cover the systematic gang rapes of women in Bosnia. This eventually led to the United Nations making the landmark decisions that makes rape a war crime under international law. Sally has this extraordinary ability to walk this incredibly fine line in the world of journalism. She is a passionate advocate for change, there is no question, but she never loses sight of that basic journalistic principle. While working for Homemakers Magazine in 1996, Sally Armstrong became one of the first Western journalists to visit Afghanistan. There she brought to light the struggle of Afghani women suffering under the Taliban regime. What happened to the women of Afghanistan was a human rights catastrophe. It is probably, if not the worst, one of the worst things that has ever happened to women. And the extraordinary thing to me is that the world looked the other way. In her book, The Veiled Threat, The Hidden Power of the Women of Afghanistan, Sally wrote, the Taliban didn't invent misogyny. Women have paid a terrible price for the willful misinterpretation of religion and the cultural role society has assigned them. She is uh, a woman with heart and conviction. She is a woman who's been able to walk that fine line about being the passionate advocate uh, for change and for people and those that she reports on without ever losing sight of the basic journalistic principle that you've got to inform minds so that others can choose wisely. Her work helped to bring the issue to the attention of the UN Secretary General Kofi Annan and Canada's Minister of Foreign Affairs. Sally's courage, sense of adventure and daring has forced us to re-examine the world. The oppressed, the disadvantaged and the persecuted now have a voice as a result of the stories and documentaries that she has produced. For her numerous achievements and tireless work, Sally Armstrong is this year's recipient of the Canadian Journalism Foundation's Lifetime Achievement Award.